We still have a lot of questions about last night's officer-involved shooting in southwest Albuquerque. Just a wild scene as the news was coming on yesterday evening. Several Albuquerque police officers fired on a 20-year-old man who they say tried to run them over in a stolen car. <laughs> it happened yesterday on Trujillo at 62nd. And that's where we find Action 7 News reporter Sandra Ramirez this morning. Good morning, Sandra. We can see there's still a police presence out there this morning. Yeah, that's right, Todd. Marissa, you can still see that police are out here this morning. They've been out here throughout the night. This is actually where they took the suspect into custody, and it's a little dark out. You might not be able to see, but that stolen white SUV, the center of the investigation, is also still out here. Now, we want to show you a video from Sky 7. Sky 7 was first over the scene around 6 p.m. yesterday. Police say they had been pursuing the driver of this white SUV. That suspect has now ident been identified as 20 year old Rodrigo Garcia. They say Garcia was a wanted man after he ran. The stolen vehicle into an APD sergeant's car last night. When police got up with Garcia, Chief Gordon Eden says Garcia tried to do the same thing, knocking one officer to the ground and slamming into two police vehicles. At that point, the chief says his officers had no choice but to open fire. Officers did take uh, the suspect into custody, who is, and he has been transported to UNMH Hospital. No word on his condition this morning. The chief says Rodrigo Garcia has been arrested several times, including twice this month, not counting last night's incident. We're, we're told he is facing multiple new charges. Reporting live in southwest Albuquerque, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.